Christian brothers and sisters, God has caused us to be born again to a living hope. A hope which Peter makes deliberately distinct from the lot of other hopes we've known. Now, the fact of the matter is that we all hope all the time. But many times we're often disappointed. But this isn't the kind of hope we have in God. Our hope in God is unlike any we've ever had. And that's because there's a moment in history that sets this hope apart from any other. We're told in 1 Peter 1, 3, because of his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You see, the tomb couldn't hold the living, breathing, scarred, but victorious body of Jesus. The man who claimed to be God, who committed no sin and died before hostile crowds appeared again just days later before crowds bearing the wounds of the cross, but demonstrating a power and victory over it. So he isn't dead, ladies and gentlemen. He is alive. The beauty of this is that in that same verse, Peter connects this life with your hope. Believer, God established and secured your hope when he raised his son. Therefore, my friends, your hope is as alive as Jesus.